Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to update an old Django project. So in my repository on GitHub I found this old project called Oink Oink. This is a social network that I built using Django. As you can see, the last time I updated it is what, January 31st, 2021. So it's over three years old now. Um, so what I want to do first now is to just get the code for this project down to my computer and see if it runs. So just click on code and copy this address. Then I go in here, create a new folder called mkdir oink oink, go into this and then git clone and then the address. So if I now go into this cd oink oink then I cannot run this since I haven't installed Django, but let's try anyways. So as you can see here, I get some errors. So as you can see here, it looks like it actually tried to use... <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's try to run it one more time. Could not find Python, so I need a virtual environment. So python3 merit.py sorry dash m venv env and when this is created we can activate it source bin sorry env bin activate and then we install the newest version of Django by saying pip install Django which is currently version 4.2.3 so then we can go into this again and try to run the server see here right away I get an error because this name is not correct. I do want to open this project in Visual Studio Code so that I can take a look at some of the code. Projects, oink oink, like that. Okay, so the structure is here is that I have a folder called apps with all of the apps for this project inside. And I think that if I go into settings.py, this just says apps.conversion, sorry, conversation, apps.core, to link to this. But this is not how it works in your versions of Django. So, you see here, you can see, check that apps.conversation.apps.conversation.config.name is correct. So it wants me to add this into here. So, this is then this folder, this is this folder, and there's a dot apps, because in here we have a file called apps.py, and in here we have something called conversation config, and this is the one we want. So copy this, go back here again, and paste it. So apps.conversation.apps.conversation config. And in here we also need to do a little change because the name can no longer be conversation. Here we need to say apps.conversation. So if I now go back here, you can see that up here it was uh, uh, complaining that apps.conversation wasn't working, but now it wants me to do the same thing with the core app. So let's do the same things there. In the apps here, we say apps.core, e, sorry, I want to save, and then in the feed, we need to do the same thing here, apps.feed, in the notification, apps.notification, and oinker profile, apps.oinker profile. And then I just need to update the files here as well, .apps .core config, .apps .feed config, .apps .notification config, .apps .oinker profile config. Like that, I think that was how it was written, oinker profile config, save. Okay, so now I get a different error up here saying that image field 
can't be used because pillow isn't installed. So let's install it. pip install pillow. Oh, then this needs to be downloaded so that I can use it in my project. Oops, try to run the server again. And now I get some other errors here. Auto create a primary key used when not defining a primary key by default. Configure the default auto field. I think this can be set in the settings file globally. Django settings. Let's search this up here. Okay, da -da -da. big auto. Yes, I think this is what I want, big auto field. So let's copy this and add it to settings.py. We can have this down with the database. Save. Okay, just stop and start again. Nice. So now there are no warnings anymore. You can just see here that I don't have any migrations applied because as you can see, okay, I have this, but it's not initialized. So let's do that. Python method by migrate. We can run the server again. And now there are no warnings. Nice. So let's try to run this in the browser to see what's going on there. Welcome to oink oink. That looks like it is working. Hmm. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Yes, it looks like everything here is working. Um, I just think that there is one more thing that I want to fix when we are upgrading Django like this. No, this was actually using this old, this new path of, okay, because uh, previously we had something called uh, URL and they usually was looking something like this, like that. But since I already have path here, this was actually not as old as I thought. But anyways, now the Django project is up and running with Django 4.2. Nice. If you have any questions about today's code, feel free to leave a comment below and I will answer as soon as I can. See you in the next video.